Hi, welcome back to the workshop for episode five of the GGBO 2022 build. And in this episode, we're gonna be making some of that really important tooling that we can't make the body without. Okay, so I haven't got all the veneers cut for the ribs of the guitar last time. Tonight, we're gonna to be doing the bending forms to actually form those ribs too. Now, I built a 335 a little while ago, and this is the bending form I built for that. Obviously a 335 is symmetrical, so I only needed one. And basically all it is, is two bits of MDF cut to the appropriate size and shape, and then glued and screwed together. You then mount that into the vise and form the plies of the ribs around it, clamping it in place as and when it's needed. Now there's two main differences in what I'm doing on this build to what happened on the 335. The first one we've already mentioned, this is asymmetrical, so I'll need to do a bending form for the top and a bending form for the bottom. So twice as much work there, fantastic. And the second thing is the curves on a 335 aren't that tight, so you can actually get round in one piece. There is no way on earth I'm gonna get round these two horns. Part of me says, go on, try it, see what you can do. But the sensible part of me knows that there is just no way on earth we all do it without the plies cracking. So what I'll have to do is kind of bend up to the, the point of the curve here and to the point of the curve there and then make a little walnut block that will sit in both of the horns and then we can recess those blocks so that the ribs can sit into them. It will mean there'll be some joints. Hopefully if we get the joints tight enough they won't be too obvious. But before we can get to any of that we need to make the forms. So to start off with all I need to do I've already cut this piece of MDF, so it's just a little bit bigger than we need. I need to do some measuring because we need a square bit at the bottom to hold in the vise and we need a little bit of room to work. And then we just need to mark these out, cut them out very roughly on the bandsaw, join them together. And then once the glue's dried, we can kind of trim it a bit closer on the bandsaw and then finally route it to shape using this template.
Okay, so there's the first one cut out, routed and made into Swiss cheese. Needs a little bit of a clean up, just needs a sand around these edges just to take the roughness from the routing away. It doesn't have to be too smooth actually, but you like to make them nice, don't you? So that one's virtually finished, apart from a little bit of cleaning up and I've done the other one off camera up to the point where I'm ready to route it. So that one's coming along as well. So we'll soon have both of these done. I think we've got through a lot of work in this episode and whilst we might not have made any progress on the actual guitar, getting this tooling done is a really vital part of the job. So that's all good. I'm going to be back tomorrow with the next episode. But until then, don't forget to like if you've enjoyed this, subscribe if you haven't already done so and I'll look forward to seeing you then. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.